Hello everyone this is Gary from Fantastic Fundas and in this lecture today we will be talking about the general features of the socio religious reform movement this is a lecture in general but before i begin with the lecture i would like to tell you a quick structure of the lectures that are about to come <coughs> so that there is no confusion right so uh, this uh, the next lecture uh, would be about the now this is lecture 30 right and now the next lecture would be about the emancipation of women right उनकी कंडीशन क्या थी उसके बारे में होगा वुमेन की कंडीशन प्लस दिस लेक्चर विल आल्सो बी अबाउट द स्ट्रगल फॉर अगेंस्ट द कास्ट सिस्टम ओके स्ट्रगल अगेंस्ट कास्ट राइट दीज टू वुड बी द फीचर्स ऑफ दिस लेक्चर ना देर इज आफ्टर दिस यू नो आई वुड समराइज ऑल द दीज ऑफ कास्ट अगेंस्ट एंटी कास्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड ऑल राइट ना नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट आई वुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस दिस विल अगेन बी अ सोशो रिलीजियस रिफॉर्म मूवमेंट लेक्चर एंड दिस विल कवर एवरी from uh, it will cover a social aspect and the religious and the cultural and you know um, this against caste but this what will be a feature of this lecture this lecture basically uh, will be a very very factual lecture okay and why i am doing this lecture because you will need this information uh, to be used for your prelim exam this lecture is very very important for purpose of prelim exam and also for mains exam okay i will go into detail about this lecture then and there at that time only okay so let us begin with the today's lecture um see to uh, today's lecture is about general reforms okay so now there are two underlying themes of all the religious reform movements right that were happening in india there are two themes of these movements in india and what are those two? one was one is the doctrine of uh, uh, reason and we are talking about reason and nationalism so all these movement had this common feature okay number two thing that is common over here uh, among all the social religious reform movements is the humanism the angle of humanism <coughs> what is humanism humanism is uh, basically it deals with uh, you know this general attack on priesthood okay because attack uh, these were people who were creating all the problems so attack on priesthood and you know or the rituals it's it was basically against all those thing right and then uh, see the basic feature of humanism is uh, is presence of a uh, humanitarian morality okay humanitarian morality what is humanitarian morality now a uh, humanitarian this basically means that humanity can progress and has progress with moral values okay once you have morals the moral values then you know humanity will progress and that is also the aim of all the uh these social religious reform movements and you know these moral values they ultimately those values only which favor human progress and the social reform movements they were an embodiment of this humanitarian morality okay so this was the uh, and this general outlook was uh, you know th their general outlook i mean they, uh, <coughs> all the people uh, associated with the social religious reform movement it was uh, the, how was the outlook it was universalistic okay it was a universal outlook no, that means take care of all okay that was their attitude and you know um, for example raja ram mohan roy uh, he said this uh, he, he said that um, he saw a different he said the different religions are expression of a universal god okay you can quote this somewhere different religions are expressions of universal god okay they are expressions of universal god universal god like let me hurry up now uh, sir sayed sir he what did he say he said prophets had the same deen as the people that is god right jo faith hai logon ka vishwas hai bhagwan jo prophet ke andar tha paigambar ke andar tha wo bhi wahi hai jo hum insano ke andar hai so you know we hum, we must understand one thing the the background of this uh, socio religious reform movement the thought process the basic thought process was this okay now um, further all these religious reform movement they appealed most to the uh, you know these rising middle classes so their appeal was to a great extent to the uh, middle classes okay and you know to the plus to the educated people right educated people especially these modern educated people now uh, they were intellectuals basically right and basically to these people right these set of people the ideas of social reforms appealed the most so that this is why i'm mentioning this right and uh, 
what basic what was done with the uh, reforms uh, in the religion the the corruption was taken out of religion okay so th with with the reforms uh, it was not acceptable um, those whatever had creeped in right for example uh, if we talk about sikhism right obviously corruption is not part of sikhism right but it had creeped into certain people and this thus there was corruption okay and that was weeded out or let's say in hinduism uh, there was they had these thing na ye jo ye hindu us time par the um, the this caste system right originally caste system is also not part of hinduism but then it was creeped in or the caste whatever the system caste system was it changed its shape okay now that uh, that it to wo jo sab tha wo nikal diya gaya right and you know all these movements because of this factor because of reforms they led to self confidence in people because we see when people feel we are equals because there is no caste system there will be self confidence people gain their self respect कितना मतलब बुरे तरीके से ट्रीट किया जाता है टू द पीपल ऑफ द लोअर कास्ट यू नो एंड देन ऑब्वियसली वेयर वुड द सेल्फ रिस्पेक्ट को यू नो इट 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 ब्रॉड बैक द प्राइड अमंग द इंडियंस प्राइड अमंग इंडियंस वाज ब्रॉड बैक बिकॉज ऑफ दिस थिंग ओनली द रिलीजियस रिफॉर्म मूवमेंट्स एंड एंड यू नो रिफॉर्मर्स दे एनेबल्ड देयर फॉलोअर्स टू बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रिफॉर्म्स यू नो द फॉलोअर्स could uh, bear the brunt of the britishers okay the followers could bear the uh, brunt of the uh, britishers and uh, you know they could understand that how good or bad they were what was so great about their religion right uh, so you know things came clearer for indians if we talk about more positive aspects of religious reform movements indians uh, came to term with the modern world or let's say western world right sikhism hinduism islam so all of them they had a great focus on adoption of the good ideas of the western world right then the pride in the past it did not prevent indians uh, from accepting the essential superiority of the modern world right now we were we have having great pride oh we were great people in the past okay right we, we we you know we for example we invented the concept of uh, zero right that's one of the greatest contributions we have or let's say a charak was there we have charak sahita in the field of medicine or a uh, lot lot of such thing or the of the field of astronomy aryabhatta uh, was there he made a great contribution in that field so all those contribution right uh, i'm talking about these things so people looked into their past with great um, or, or there was you know th very there was a concept of fine art that developed up to a very great extent right and all the all the construction architecture great, developed great, greatly we architecture right we had a great uh, this thing geomet knowledge of geometry uh, and so all these things were there right we started having pride in all these things all the indians irrespective of religion okay and you know or or even the including everything for example sikhism's message of peace or even the or uh, fighting against the tyranny or the buddhist message of peace and uh, the calmness everything was you know it, it is a pride past but then we all after this accepted the present uh, accepted present under which western world is leading the west is leading see this is the fact even today the west is leading to a very great extent right we are all started we just started moving ahead right and you know because of these reforms because we started thinking of ourselves as indians first we started thinking of having a modern secular and this worldly attitude right there was lot of this lot of focus on uh, improving your life after the death but now we started focusing on this worldly attitude are present to sudhar lo future sudharne ki padi hai right when we started having national outlook though, that was another outcome of the uh, this movement of really social religious reform movement right so so if we if we talk about it and the one of the things was uh, you know our pride in the past and then this worldly attitude and then national outlook so such things were there right okay now uh, people started you know the thinking and promoting the welfare of this world then outside right now th this because of this these things uh, the social reform the religious reforms india's a uh, cultural and intellectual isolation ended right so our cultural isolation ended okay uh, this thing ended right we did not copy the west blindly right we just copied the best ideas rather than copying we'll say whatever is good in world we always adopt adopt that so we basically did that right 
but these religious reform movements were really not the great greatest of the movement there were some uh, weaknesses also in the movement and there were two main weaknesses about which i'll talk now okay and for, for uh, first of all uh, these uh, you know these to both these uh, things they uh, they were related to only small percentage of population small percentage only okay very few people were impacted by these reform movement and you know there were two main people who were impacted and th those were the urban people only and in urban also only the upper urban middle class uh, was impacted okay urban middle class and then uh, <coughs> second who were impacted over here they were the upper class upper class now uh, what was the re reason it this movement right this just remain confined to these things only but this did not reach the masses why because it's very simple right they gave voice to the urges of educated right and urban strata of indian society these reforms were mainly dealing they were giving voice only to urban strata that is the point they were not, not doing much for the poor and that is why most of the people and most of the people were poor and that is why this movement the these religious reform movement could not reach to the uh, poor or the or the masses let's say okay that is like uh, you know number one problem of uh, the um, uh, the whole religious reform movements right uh, and that is uh, we this was just very very confined uh, to the uh, urban areas right let's talk about the number two movement now number two movement i'll write it here now this uh, second number two not the movement number two negative aspect right and this was the tendency to look backward tendency to look backward hum past mein wo the hum past mein ye the Right, tendency to look backward. In past we were this. We in past we did that. We did this. रोते रो हो बैठ के हर वक्त, right? You know, हमने ये किया, हमने लड़ाइयाँ की आपके लिए, हमने पुष्पक विमान मनाए, right? So many of them were, uh, you know, they, some of them were genuine, some of them were not even genuine, and we just keep, you know, talking about those rather than, uh, you know, appeal to past greatness is okay, right? But there are too much of reliance on that is not good for the nation to advance, okay? And reliance on spiritual, scriptural authority, कि script के अंदर लिखा है, you know, so basically tendency to look backward and then focusing on scripts. See, for example, we talked about these uh, focus on Quran, right, or focus on uh, Vedas. Uh, all this was uh, not really the modern idea that should have been there. Okay, now it it undermined the, why this is not good because this thing, this thing, the scripts, looking just at them as the authorities. Uh, for example, even the case of uh, Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan or so many other people we talked about, right? So this doesn't lead to scientific rational thinking. scientific rational thinking okay we must be logical we must believe in only those things right which we know uh, uh, which have a logic okay only then we should follow those things if we do not have a logic in something we do not have a reason for it we must leave that thing okay uh, you know uh, okay so so focus on reasoning should be there reasoning if you really want to understand the importance of reasoning i have uh, there there is a very famous children's classic known as gulliver travel uski fourth book hai hoinems please go through that book if you really want to understand that's 50 60 page book only kabhi kisi free time whenever you are free you can go through that book and you can just finish it in few hours only and it's wonderful you understand the importance of reasoning in our life right now we we had this habit of finding golden age in the past you know this tendency to look backward jo thi hum kya kehte the hamara past was glorious that was the golden age us time par ye tha wo tha you know we we talk like this it's with all the religions right not just one religion now right so this habit of finding the golden age in the past this this thing acted as a full stop it acted as a check on the full acceptance of the modern science so we because of that we thought no no we were great at that time so we don't accept modern science today right that which is again wrong in itself now we then you know there were uh, th this was like the second negative part of it okay let me just move to the third one and this third aspect is now about uh, there were there were divisions between hindus muslims sikhs parses hindu muslim sikh parsi or koi bhi agar hai theek hai sab ke aapas ke andar kahin na kahin thodi thodi ladai ho rahi thi and it it this thoda thoda jo ye behas bazi honi shuru ho chuki thi this was not just a, a inter religion right inter matlab in dono ke aapas mein in dono ke ya in kaise bhi kaise karke right so any combination but within religion also for example there were lower caste and upper caste lower caste and upper caste 
so such things were there also no so, so imagine what is happening emphasis on religion was there okay and there was so much of and, and on the cultural heritage so emphasis was there on, on on you know cultural heritage okay this is good we should have focus on our cultural heritage but uh, this focus was based on the religious lines right and because it was based on the religious lines it could never become the focus on the common heritage right you know uh, everyone was talking about their pristine glory no one was talking about the common heritage of india which is the great message right chahe wo nanak ne di diya chahe wo guru gobind singh ji ne diya ya fir ram ne diya chahe you know uh, kisi ne bhi diya right nanak bhi ram bhi koi bhi ho sab ne jo bhi message diya all that message right or uh, that was a common message that is our biggest common heritage okay so ancient period तो जो हम उसको ग्लोरियस पीरियड की तरह देखते थे सो तो वट हैपन दैट देर वॉज अ वेरी वियर्ड क्लासिफिकेशन पीपल सम ऑफ द पीपल दे स्टार्टेड सिंग एंशियंट टाइम एज द ग्लोरियस पीरियड ओके एंड देन यू नो मिडीवल टाइम आफ्टर दैट दे स्टार्टेड ओके मिडीवल दिस मिडीवल पीरियड वॉज सीन एज एज द यू नो एरा ऑफ डेकेडेंस इट एरा ऑफ फॉल era of uh, lesser growth that was uh, you know created now this was a british classification british created that this is not the truth this is far away from truth even in the ancient times people had their roster set of problems irrespective of religion and even medieval times people were happy aisa nahi hai ki har mughal empire aaya and he just disturbed people some of them were really good right for example akbar was there ओके सो दिस प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दैट जब हम कहते हैं वो महान हिंदू एरा था या क्योंकि वो महान सिख एरा था या मुगल एरा था प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग वट एवर इट माइट बी ठीक है बट दे एवरी एवरी पीरियड हैड इट्स ओन प्रॉब्लम्स ओके नाउ आई होप इट्स क्लियर राइट नाउ वी वर अनक्रिटिकली यू नो अप्रेजिंग आर एंशियंट एंड यू नो आर रिलीजन राइट नाउ ऑल दीज थिंग्स दिस 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 अन इक्वल फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू टॉक अबाउट हिंदुइजम राइट देर वर टू मच ऑफ फोकस ऑन द एंशियंट ग्लोरी राइट नाउ दिस वॉट इज एंशियंट ग्लोरी भाई मेरे वॉट काइंड ऑफ एंशियंट ग्लोरी द फोकस ऑन कास्ट सिस्टम दिस एंशियंट ग्लोरी लाइज इन कास्ट सिस्टम और इन डिवाइडिंग द मैन फ्रॉम मैन यू नो ह्यूमन फ्रॉम ह्यूमन वॉट काइंड ऑफ ग्लोरी इट इज सो आई एम टेलिंग यू देर वॉज नद दिस इज अ मिथ दैट हैज बीन क्रिएटेड बाय ब्रिटिशर इट इज नॉट द ट्रू हिस्ट्री ओके ना finally you know what happened that not everyone was taking part uh, thinking or not everyone right not uh, not everyone was able to think uh, so, so what was the result uh, result was that not everyone was having pride in history so this was the result because there every there were like we mixed things happening right and you know uh, and some the, because these people were not inter- and thus these people were not uh you know um uh, uh, interested right uh, in fact in, uh, i should say the the, the, so, the social reforms okay and uh, all these things uh, you know because uh, there were a lot of people they remained socially untouched by these reforms socially untouched by these reform because of such wrong conception of history that earlier was some people even say that ancient period was hindu period then came muslim period you know in between came jainism buddhism then came sikh period what do you understand by this ha huh? see all the people were existing all the time at the same time right so, so you know guru nanak dev ji he had both the followers he sikhs and hindus and muslims right Every, everyone was his follower so so did lord buddha you know and that is the theory that is the his, you know fact and then you know but because of this thing uh, 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 th- this national consciousness was coming but some part of this national consciousness was based on the flawed history flawed uh, history given by the britishers and this uh, was this also accompanied by the rise of the communalism in india okay and this communal consciousness i can say uh, the communal consciousness also began in india communal consciousness such a badly good word okay this is a good word in its a communal consciousness but it's bad word because what it means is really ugly okay so these were the negative parts of the social religious reform movement so this was number 3 over here okay so let us move to the next right now um, these social reform movement over here um, and these religious movements uh, there were a l- lot of movements right lot of people were there i am going to uh, f- f- mention the name of the few people right basically uh, so please try to remember these names 
in as i said in one of the next coming lectures also there will be one factual lecture about the social religious reform movement in which i will be talking to you about all the organizations that came up and all the newspapers and all the or uh, the systems everything we will, all the factual information we will talk about there and here i just wanted to explain you the concept first okay so th what was happening right so um, uh, when the religious reforms came okay let me uh, okay let's continue with this color only when the reforms came right what happened there were new educated indians right just like you people right you people are gaining such good knowledge uh, these days by studying for various examinations and then you become better and educated indians not not every person who goes to school becomes educated for that matter okay now uh, they they attacked the outdated rigid customs for example uh, this uh, parda system what nonsense it is huh? say or wo, it is as big as a nonsense as caste system is okay so after this uh, there were a lot of organizations okay uh, uh, before i begin uh, talking about these organizations let me just uh, uh, tell you one more thing one more fact that though these social reform they were linked with religious reform right later on these reform movements became secular movement though most many of these movements so many though many social reform movements they started as religious movements okay but eventually what happened they turned into secular movements later on right and overall uh, you know there were two main uh, reforms that had happened right two main reforms that happened overall uh, right and one the, one of them was the emancipation of the women okay women condition really improved and women got equal rights and number two uh, which uh, this thing happened these reforms happened that was the caste rigidities weakened right even today we have such a strong caste rigidity system caste rigidity system but this system weakened right and in particular uh, you know this caste system declined in particular untouchability declined in india uh, because of the social religious reform movement we need more such reform movements today we really want to eradicate this menace of caste system untouchability and poor condition of women okay now uh, uh, the, the main uh, method of these uh, social reform movement whatever those uh, these these were they were uh, right they would write dramas okay they would write novels okay and then there were newspapers and poetry and plays okay and short stories they these were their methods of uh, uh, religious reform movements so this is how it happened so even today that is why we talk about civil society kabhi aapne nukkar natak dekhe so many civil societies organize them they, you know if you want to make a change dramas play a huge role or novels the newspaper the poetry the plays and the short stories that is why it is a very good thing to have um, uh, this thing mentioned as a hobby in our main interview form that um, the main form that you know we have writing short stories as a hobby because it can bring a change to the people when you go for your interview and they ask you what kind of short stories right you can always mention this fact that this is the kind of impact short stories can create they brought a social religious reforms in india right so there were uh, a few organizations right i will not name all just few people who were very important okay for example jyotiba phule ji he will play a very big role and then you know there were three people who always come together almost rana day kt telang and the you know this malabar uh, malabar okay bbm malabar was there right these people played important role then christian missionaries got very active i will be talking about them also in the next two lectures okay christian missionaries uh they would be talked about then you know they were uh, Go gopal hari deshmukh was there we will talk about him also the gopal he was also known as lok hitwadi he got this title see whatever i'm giving you information there this is just the ratta information and just id information for the purpose of prelim or um, let's say these are just the introductory word for the next two lectures which um, uh, okay then hm kunzru was there kunzru played a very important role this person kunzru he also started uh, i remember this thing called seva samiti okay right so uh, we'll talk about these people lot of people for example varas lingam was there or narayan guru who started sndp movement we'll talk about these movements also ambedkar was there so these all these people and a lot of other people will be talking in the coming lectures okay 
so this is it for now in this lecture and before i finish i would like to tell you one important thing about next lectures okay and this is that in the coming lectures i will be talking to you uh, right as i said in the earlier in the ne next lecture will be about two things the two main reforms created by social religious reform movement and that was the uh, one is the emancipation of women and second is the caste system the removal of the caste system in india so we will talk about these two though it has not been completely removed okay and after this the next lecture right that lecture uh, would be on the uh, a very very highly factual lecture uh, it will be highly factual but high also extremely important uh, le lecture it would be uh, for 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 the purpose of our paper we'll be talking about those also okay and finally you know before i go just a humble request to you all please share these videos with others it really supports me and uh, makes me wants to make a better videos okay and if you want that next lecture should come into your email you can always subscribe to us when you click on subscribe button here the update of our emails or of our videos will come directly to your email okay so that is all and thank you so much for watching this video